Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky, Bex, whatever you guys like to call me. In today's video, I'm gonna try something which I've never tried before. I am gonna be trying the Collection Gorgeous Glow Jelly Highlighter and the Collection Gorgeous Glow Jelly Bronzer. Now I know these became such a trend when, was it the brand Fasali? When Fasali brought out their very first jelly highlighter, that became so popular, so many brands started to do jelly products themselves. I know e.l.f. did a few jelly highlighters themselves. They did like one called Bubbly. I think that's one of the shade names. Yeah, Bubbly. When I saw a Collection did jelly highlighters, I was like, oh, I'm really excited because I've actually never tried a jelly product before. So I'm very excited to try the bronzer and highlighter. And not to mention these are super affordable, which is great, especially in this pandemic we've got going on. Lots of people don't have that kind of money at the moment. So it's nice to go to Superdrug or Boots and pick up some affordable makeup. So let's try these jelly products and see what I think of them. So if you guys are gonna enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos don't forget to follow me on instagram if you like link is in the description bar below if you guys want to know my thoughts on the collection jelly highlighter and bronzer just keep watching all right guys so i hope you guys don't mind the crazy fashion i've got going on at the moment i've got like the unicorn hair bow and black flower in my hair. I wanted to wear something unicorny, but I also like gothic fashion at the same time. So this is the sort of way I want to interpretate both of them together. So yeah, I hope you guys like the crazy combination I've got going on with my hair. Anyway, so on the Superdrug website, the bronzer and highlighter, they both retail for $5.99. So they're very, very affordable. It doesn't really say much about them. It pretty much says exactly the same what's on the actual packaging. It just says bouncy jelly bronzer for face and body so you can pretty much use this on the body as well so i'd say for like deeper skin you could use this as like a a, a glow from within highlighter for us much fairer people we we use this as a highlighter but it's kind of cool so you can use this all over the body and on your face so that's kind of cool so i i'm going to start with the bronzer it's a very weird texture Ooh, it really is like jelly I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. That is just, it's slipping out of the pot. That is just so satisfying. I really don't, I'm, I'm weird, okay? I'm just weird. Doesn't have a smell. It's not fragranced in any way. How do I go to applying this? Um, Maybe I'm gonna use a stippling brush to do the bronzer. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I've already done my face makeup, but I haven't set my face. I've only done my under eyes. I haven't done obviously this bit here because if we put powder on top it might cake it up a bit so if you use any sort of liquid or gel sort of texture just make sure you leave that bit clear i'm gonna dot that around my face um okay just gonna dip that in the oh oh okay um well let's do this because it might dry in it might dry so Oh, by the way, I've already got cream blusher on, by the way. So if you're noticing the glow in the cheeks, that's why. <laughs> that's interesting. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'm going to go over it with my damp beauty sponge. This is clean, by the way. It's just stained. Um, and I'm just going to blend it out with that. Just sort of soften it out a bit. That's pretty nice, actually. I'm not going to lie. I was right as well. It, it does dry down very quickly, so be careful when using this. I'm just going to grab a bit more on my brush here. Whoa. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, I don't know if this might be best if you sort of dot this on your face, maybe, and put it on instead of using a stippling brush. I don't know. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to apply it like that. And then, yep, get the sponge and blend that out. It's got a sort of a, um, it's got sort of like a pink reflect in it as well. So if you don't like shimmery bronzers, then this probably won't be for you. Right, I'm gonna add more and let's see how it goes on top of more product. It's 
It's very nice. It's a very subtle bronzy glow. I'm going to build the product up. I'm going to see if it builds up. Does it get cakey? Does it build up the colour? We will see. Well, it certainly doesn't look cakey. It's not building up the colour anymore, but why would you want it built up? This is pretty much intense as it is, so... Okay, so just test that. Let's see how well this cleans up, because I feel like the bronze has gone a bit too low. So, I'm going to grab my concealer. This is the Revolution Pro concealer. And we're going to see how well this cleans up. That's why sometimes it's very good not to put powder on. So if you make mistakes, you can always sharpen them out. I'm going to use my sponge again, just using the tip. Well, that sharpened up really well. Yeah, there's no cakiness, no patchiness, nothing. That shaped up really well. Well, let's try the highlighter. Oh, maybe help I do the other side first. Yeah, yeah, come on, let's go do the other side. All right, guys, well, with this side here, um, it did go a little bit cakey, but I think it's because I didn't work with it in time. I had to pause for a minute and it did dry very fast. So yeah, it's gone a little bit cakey that side, but never mind. Let's try the highlighter. So now we can try the highlighter. Okay, I think I'm going to grab this super, uh, Makeup Revolution flat brush thing. Uh, I'm going to grab some of the highlighter that's on this on the seal because I don't really want to waste the product. So I'm grab it from there. Let's see how this looks. Wow, whoa, wow. This is a proper... Oh, sorry, I don't think I mentioned the shame names, did I? Sorry, I don't think I mentioned the shade names. Um, this highlighter is in the shade Royalty and the bronzer is in the shade Goddess. Wow, that is stunning. Yeah, I'm very scared, scared of catching that rainbow. Let's build it up. Let's see what it's like built up. That's absolutely stunning. That's, that is pure intense. Even liquid highlighters don't justify this. Oh my god. Oh, that is pretty. Right, I'm now going to do the other side. This has come out pure intense. Pure intense. It makes me look wet on the skin. These two make great combo. Right, now the main test. What is it like when you set it with powder? So, I'm going to grab a powder brush. Grab my Makeup Gallery Smoothly Does It Powder in sand. This is the real test. This is if, you, if it's actually going to cake up or it's going to disappear. So, let's see, shall we? Oh no! I think it is disappearing! The bronzer's still there! In fact, the bronzer is starting to go a bit more matte. Well, the shimmer's still there, but I know I could just leave it non-set, but my hair keeps sticking to my face, so you know that you're going to have to set it. Okay, on closer observation... Um, the bronzer? Really nice. It's set really nicely. You could still see a bit of the shine from the bronzer, but you know it's there. The highlighter? I'm disappointed. It's sort of disappeared. Oh, Didn't want it to disappear. Well... Still has intenseness, but... Okay, well, it's... It's toned it down anyway. I mean, for people who don't want an intense highlighter. It's definitely toned it down for those kind of people. I mean, you could still see it. It adds that sort of light sparkle to the skin. I mean, in natural light, it would look really lovely. On the monitor, you can still see the shine. So I reckon in natural lighting... This will look really, really nice, but in real in in real life, it actually is really, really toned down. Hmm. 
Interesting, interesting. Right, I'm gonna zoom back out and I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. Hiya guys, so my final thoughts on the collection Jelly Go bronzer and highlighter. I'm gonna start with the highlighter. The highlighter, as you guys saw, was so intense. When I first put it on, it was blinding. It really was, it was super intense. And unfortunately, as I set it with powder, it has faded. But when I tested this in natural lighting, it actually came out really stunning. I would show a video clip of it, but my skin just looks, it's not the greatest at the moment and it's quite textured in, in every little way. Um, but I went outside and tried this with natural lighting and it is absolutely gorgeous. In natural lighting, this is really, really pretty. And I was a bit cheeky and I kind of went in with my brush, even though I've already set my face with powder, just to see if it intensified in any way, if it caked up in any way. And I didn't go in with any access product. I just went in with the access that's on the brush. And it has built up a little bit. You guys can see it, it, there is a shine there. So it has definitely built up. I would not recommend this while your face is powdered because it will cake up really, really bad. But it is really, really nice. Don't overdo it because if you overdo it, you will cake up. I think I did that with this side. I did overdo the bronzer and it did start to cake up. So please don't overdo it like I did. I did want to build it up to see if it did do that in any way because I know some of them do that, some of them don't. And this one did. So try not to overbuild it if you can. The bronzer, the bronzer was gorgeous actually. When I set it with powder, it just gives you that real nice shadow on the face. It's really, really nice. It does tone down a lot of the shimmer that's inside this product. It does tone it down. But if you don't like a shimmery jelly bronzer, then you will not like this. And that's the same with the highlighter. If you don't like these two jelly shimmery products, you won't like this at all. But for me, I think these are gorgeous. I would just say use like a brush like I did or any brush you th or any sort of like maybe like a dome brush or anything, buff it in and then just get your beauty sponge and just sort of smoothen it out a bit. But do it how you think is best. My only advice is do not powder your face when using these and do not use too much of the product. But apart from that, these two are gorgeous. They are really, really nice. They give this nice glow to the skin. They're very sparkly. And like I said, and it says on there, you can use it on the body as well. So that's quite nice. So when you want to go out, you can put it on your body and it gives you a nice bit of glow. So that's a bit of a fun touch. So yeah, I really, really like these. They're super affordable and yeah best jelly products I've used. <laughs> so if you guys have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you like. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.